Andrew's second point and question. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn seemed to be one of the most impactful mystery schools of the late 1800s and early 1900s. Where do you see similarities, but most interestingly, the differences between the two schools of thought, the HOGD and theosophy, in cosmology and in praxis? And I replied, Although the Bund movement that grew among later members of Golden Dawn Lodges, eventually culminating in Crowley's reform of the OTO and its publication of the Equinox, whose famous motto was, we place no reliance on virgin nor pigeon, our method is science, our aim is religion did advocate a globalization of groups that required a multicultural syncretism of ancient myths. The cipher manuscripts upon which the Golden Dawn was originally based provide only a degree system of rituals and knowledge lectures, and in such provide no original mythological cosmology, unlike HPB. The cipher manuscripts themselves are based largely on the principles underlying the contemporary Societas Rosicrucianae in Anglia, an appendant Trinitarian Freemasonic body formed by Robert Wentworth Little in 1865. Because Freemasonry of the era promoted religious syncretism, particularly in terms of combining the then-known myths of ancient cultures, both in America with Albert Pike's 1871 Morals and Dogma, and in Europe with the emulation ritual merging the English ancients with the continental moderns, having been established only as recently as 1813 with the formation of the United Grand Lodge of England. It is highly likely that Henry Steele Alcott, 1832 to 1907, HPB's lifelong companion and renowned Freemason, and Robert Wentworth Little, 1840 to 1878, renowned Freemason and founder of the SRIA, spiritual progenitor of the Golden Dawn, shared this vision of a new age global religion. While the Golden Dawn degree system, adopted by Crowley in his reformed OTO, establishes a framework for the promotion of theological scholars in this new age religious school, or in other words, a method of rank and hierarchy for a new age church, Blavatsky's theosophy provides the essential religious philosophy and beliefs meant to be espoused by this church. Of course, relations between Crowley's OTO and Blavatsky's Theosophical Society have always been awkward, as they promote very different moralities, Crowley's inherent hedonism being almost 180 degree opposite Blavatsky's advocacy of sexual celibacy. In short, the Golden Dawn as a New Age religious order and the theosophy of HPB being the New Age religious doctrine of this cult were, I believe, intended to complement one another by design of certain Freemason social engineers of the period. So it may be said that the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn had no specific religion attached to it, and so it may be said that the Theosophical Society had no specific initiatory hierarchy attached to it because these two were ultimately meant to combine into a single New Age religion. <laughs>